The Indianapolis Colts have another primetime game this week as they host the Los Angeles Chargers on Monday Night Football. And it's going to be yet another horse on the quarterback carousel, this time Nick Foles at quarterback for the Colts. This is Jake Arthur with the Locked On Colts podcast. So a couple big things. Obviously, Nick Foles will be the the biggest part of this matchup and what the offense is going to look like with him. Uh, But when you look at the Chargers specifically, there's a couple things the Colts, I think they could do against that Chargers defense to perhaps hold on and get a win this time around. They've they've come close in their last few uh, few matchups. So first, the Chargers are 28th against the run. The Colts, of course, don't have Jonathan Taylor anymore. That is a bummer, of course. But if they can establish any sort of respectable run game with Deion Jackson, Zach Moss, and Jordan Wilkins, that could possibly open up play action. After all, the Chargers have allowed a 100-yard individual rusher in four of their last five games. So it's not like it's out of of the realm of possibility for the Colts to be successful with their cast of backups. So if Nick Foles, who is a lot more aggressive downfield than Sam Ellinger and Matt Ryan were, uh, if he can look downfield a bit, this could open up things for Alec Pierce, Michael Pittman Jr., and Jelani Woods. Hopefully we've, we've talked about him a lot. And you know, the last thing they should do, don't do anything historically bad. A few weeks ago, they gave up 33 points to the Cowboys in the fourth quarter. Last week, they gave up the biggest comeback in NFL history to the Vikings. So just chill out. Don't do anything crazy. Just just do your normal thing and try and get a win. Uh, For more on this game and more on the Colts throughout the rest of the week, check us out on the Locked On Colts podcast Monday through Friday, wherever you get your podcasts, especially YouTube. Check us out. Thanks.